Well, welcome back with Word of the Days, going with the 23rd and the 22nd, uh, no, 23rd and the 24th, which is today, starting with Dentifrice, which is a paste, powder, liquid, or other preparation for cleaning the teeth, um, which is actually quite perfect timing for this, as I just got a dentist appointment not too long ago. Um, anyways, dentifrice, a paste or other preparation for cleaning of the teeth, comes via Fren Middle French from Latin dentifrixium, the compound of denti, the stem and combining form of dens, tooth, and fr frisium, a, a derivative of the verb fricare, to rub, chafe, massage. I think friction comes from that. I could be wrong. The Romans made a dentifrice of the ashes of murex shells, which is not recommended by the ADA. Dentifrice entered English in the first half of the 15th century. So with that, let's hear one more time. Dentifrice. And going with the final word, which is... Lacustrin. Which is of or relating to a lake. So like Minnesota. Um, down to origin, adjective lacustrine, relating to a lake, living or growing in lakes, is a term used in geology. Lacustrine, strata, lacrustin ah, deltas, in biology, lacrustin plants, lacrustin fauna. Um, anyways, lacustrine comes from French or Italian lacustre, relating to a lake, and a naturalized English suffix, adjective suffix ein. The French and Italian adjectives are irregularly formed from Latin lacus, lake, pond, pool, and the adjective, Latin adjective suffix estris, estre, from the analogy of Latin palestris, palestre. Swampy, marshy, formed from palus, swamp, fen. Lacustrine entered English in the first half of the 19th century. So with that, let's hear it one more time. Lacustrine. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.